everybody, and welcome back to an action-packed, thrill-seeking, missile-guided episode, heat-seeking, missile-guided mm-hmm. episode of JB's Bible and Bourbon Talk, where on this podcast, we talk about things we're passionate about, right? We're not passionate about missiles, no. per se. Mm-mm. I'm just per se right now. I mean, I'd be but, passionate if one was headed towards me. I think that would elicit several... An emotional reaction. Yeah. Is that exactly. is that passionate or is that just emotional reaction? It can be both. Okay. We're going to let it be both. We'll just, we'll meet in the middle. All yeah. right. So, but what we are passionate about, we are passionate about Jesus. We're passionate about Holy Scripture and digging into the Bible and going deep into the Bible. Mm. Um, we're also passionate about good whiskey, right? We were just talking about good whiskey mm-hmm. right before we hit record. And so what we do is we talk about scripture. We talk about Jesus. We have a couple of drinks along yeah. the way. I'm JB. I'm a pastor at a reformed church in Ohio. Mm-hmm. And with me is the non-heat seeking missile. But I am coming in hot. Coming in hot. Fancy like Rob. Fajita. So thank you all so much. Yeah, glad to be back again, JB. Yeah, I'm excited. Haven't fired you yet. You haven't, because um, I don't know who would edit the, the episodes. Nobody. So be completely raw job, and unedited. Security. You do not and you want. You would just hear sniffles and grunts and, at all. and farts. He's not wrong. So now that you've heard that ringing endorsement and you're thinking, hey, I want to learn more about these guys and this show because these guys got it together. <laughs> so you can find out all of that at jbbibleandbourbon.com slash social. So that's going to have all of our Instagram, Facebook, to my chagrin, both our TikToks, which I went into kicking and screaming, our podcatchers, how you can listen to us on audio in those podcatchers. If you don't want the beard of glory, don't know why you would. Maybe it's because you're driving and you can't be distracted by the, the lovely wonder that is before our YouTube and Rumble viewers. So jbbibleandbourbon.com slash social is going to have all of that. Plus, it's going to have how you can reach out to JB and I, connect with us on Facebook, how you can also come alongside of us on Patreon and support the work of what we're doing here on this on this channel, on this podcast, whatever the kids call it these days. And we have several tiers at our Apostle and Disciple tier. You get monthly time with JB and I. Um, you also get end of year swag gifts, which are going to be fantastic this year. I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to getting my part, my, I guess, Swag sample. I don't. I don't know. We're hosts. We skim right from the top and and, yeah. take, and take some of the right take some of the swag. So it's that's what you're helping us with. So jbbibleandbourbon dot com slash social. <laughs> yeah, I think the kids would call us bussin, mm-hmm. right? Is that the term that the kids? I don't use think it days? is anymore. They would not call us dog water. That's a term they use too. Okay. They is this, us where are you learning this? Are you, you, you just said we're on TikTok. Oh, that's true. Okay. I apologize. I, I'm learning. I'm learning you the, learn the lingo mm-hmm. on, on TikTok. Hey, I do want to say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give a big shout out to Rob. He's a wonderful friend. He, um, I, I contacted him before we recorded today. I said, Hey, my wife is having a bad day at work. She asked me if I would make her pizza for dinner. Mm-hmm. I said, Hey, Rob, can you? Can you jump on a little bit sooner so that I can uh, make that request, you know, for my wife? And he he joyfully jumped on with me. So thank you, Rob. And so I went and made pizza. I got pizza dough going. And so I got my basil. Nice. I got my oregano's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got my Italian seasoning. Can't wait to see where this is going. All of this. Yeah. All of this to say season's greetings, everybody. Because Mm -hmm. what we're in now is we're into... Our Advent series, where we uh, give you the gift. Hmm. <laughs> you like that, buddy? <laughs> We're giving you the gift that you never asked for, and mm-hmm. that is an episode each week through Advent. How gracious are we? You're We're welcome. Gracious. You're welcome. Um, yeah, you so. can say thank you by going to jbbiblemember.com slash social and signing up to Patreon. I'm just, I mean, you could do that. I'm just saying. It's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Who's to say? All the kids that say the words that JB said are doing it. So... Can I tell you that uh, I got down to my office to record and mm. I forgot to bring the seasonings down with me. No, that's a, that's so a I called my son who was upstairs. Mm-hmm. Stairs are still hard for me. Okay. It's right. that one foot, one foot, one foot, mm-hmm. one foot. So it's, it, so I, I, I called him and said, Hey, can you, I need you to bring down basil, oregano and Italian seasoning. And he, he didn't even question it when I called him. Yeah, he just like brings a it down. Legitimate request. So he he brings it down. He's like, "What do you need this for?" And I said, "Seasons greetings." And he was like, "Oh, 
Gosh. Yeah, I'm glad he felt my pain even before. Yeah, I so that's you that's know great. he does. He he deals with that stuff on a day to day basis. So if anyone is you know again new to our show and wondering, JB is learning to walk like a fawn. So he's just just getting, you know, he's got those little deer legs. Yeah, um, and he falls over, yep. or you know, he had a motorcycle accident and his footsies hurt. One of the, one footsie, of those two things. My are, footsie does hurt. Are are happening. Yeah. My footsie does hurt. You know, it helps with that. You know, mm. it helps with a hurting footsie. What does? I think a, a drink is in order. A pour. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, what do we got? What we got? What we got? So I am going to go with uh, go, going back a few episodes. So I'm going to go with the High West Double Rye. Grape. It's grape. Mm. Soda. Yeah. This grape brandy finish ABC pick. It's really a, good. Oh man, this is bottle two. Bottle oh, bottle two that you have had. Okay, that I have had. I thought you got like bottle number two from the barrel. Oh no, not I'm, yeah. I wasn't quite that early to the show. I went with uh, Junction Thirty Five Off mm-hmm. the Rails Experimental Line. It is called Righteous. Ah, uh, it is one hundred percent rye, and it is. 100.16 proof or proof and it is bottle 165 of 321 oh, batch oh. one of righteous excellent so that's how awfully fun small is barrel. that yeah that definitely rye my friend mm. so cheers to advent cheers so like i said mm, that opened up pretty good so like I said, we are starting our Advent series. We're going through a series that we actually did at our church during the pandemic. Yeah. Our Advent series called Stocking Stuffers. And what we felt like is we needed to stuff more of certain things into our lives during this holiday season or season's greetings. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not watching on YouTube and, and Rumble, you don't get to see me holding up this Italian season. very visual podcast. Very visual point. Yeah. The props, it's its like a carrot top concert. Mm-hmm. But we felt like we need we needed to stuff more things into our life. Joy, peace. And, and today we're going to talk about stuffing some more faith into our lives. Mm-hmm. And so before we do that, before we begin, Rob, would you pray for us? Yeah, absolutely. Heavenly Father, we, um, we thank you for this time together, Father. We thank you for... Um just for the ability to gather, to the the, uh, the ability to meet, Father, we thank you for uh, for this series during a time when we desperately needed it. We thank you just for for seeing what we need to put more of in our lives, for examining the things that that we often let go by the wayside that we need to that we need to grab onto, that we need to uh, that we need to have more of. Father, I pray for um, everyone watching, everyone listening. Father God, I just pray that this is a is a message that that meets them where they are and that gives them some encouragement, Father. That that calls them to that just calls them to to follow the the Spirit to to follow to follow you as they enter Advent season here at the beginning. Uh, we pray that they continue to to look towards you, uh, to look forward to what we celebrate uh, this season, which is the uh, birth of your Son Christ Jesus. We give all this over to you and we thank you and praise you in the matchless name of your Son Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So. Like I said, we're looking to stuff some more things, some good things into our life this mm-hmm. Advent season. So usually going into the holiday season, we, you know, I know a lot of people feel the stress of the season, right? Yeah. You got parties, you got family dinners, you got to buy presents, you got to go to you know Christmas program, all these things that like November and December seem to be the busiest, most stressful time of the year for us. And I think we need to kind of take a you know, pull back a little bit and, and look at what's important here through the Christmas narrative. Uh-huh. Um, especially today, we're looking at stuffing faith in our life. So we're going to look at Luke chapter one, when when God sends this angel to speak to Mary about her uh, conceiving the Christ child. And so in Luke chapter one, verses 26 through 29 in the NLT says this, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think about what the angel could mean. And so to have more faith in our lives during this Advent season, uh, point one is we need to believe 
what God says about you. You need to believe what God says about you. So Mary, she has to trust and believe that, yeah. you know, God sees her mm. like this, right? As someone that's favored, you know, she, she trusted God when she didn't understand yeah. things. Yeah. And, and the first, the first part of that, JB, which you already said, right? Cause you like to step on my lines, um, yeah. is, you know, you are highly favored. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's yeah. that that's that first that first portion of believing what God says about you. Yeah, when when you have uh this relationship with Christ and even I would say before as God is pursuing you with his holy spirit mm. that you know he loves you he, he's seeking you and he wants to bless you with with his grace and with his love and his mercy not just not because of what we have done, right? Uh, nothing that I have done has I would say God would be like, yeah, that's the guy, right? Hmm. Well, you know, I do good things, but it's that's not why God loves me. God loves me because of his grace. He loves yeah. me because he is love. So we have to understand, and one of the things when I came to Christ is we are somebody, you know, mm-hmm. more specifically, we're, we're children of God, and God created us to be in this relationship with him. We are uh, children of the King of Kings, right? Yeah. And so not only are we highly favored, and what else does God or Gabriel tell Mary in this passage? He says, the Lord is with you. And so that means God's presence is with us all through our lives. And we need, I think, especially during this Advent season, we mm-hmm. need to fully embrace the idea of God with us. It bringing peace into our lives, bringing yeah. joy into our lives. And so as we become Christians, as we put our faith in Jesus, we receive the Holy Spirit. So you have his Holy Spirit in you, and, and that's a reassurance for us mm-hmm. in life, right? Yeah. Knowing that God is with us, knowing that Christ is with us as we go through the trials that we go through. I don't think I have to list everything that I've gone through again this year. It's been a, a rough year. But but Christ has been with me. God has been with me. And I felt the the reassurance of that through his Holy Spirit and also through his written word. Whereas yeah. I've gone to the word and, you know, my daily devotions, I, I'm reassured of Christ's presence in my life. Hmm. If we take a look at, at Luke one thirty through 33, don't be afraid, Mary. The angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Yeah, that's right. And so what's great here with Mary is God is telling her exactly what Mm -hmm. he's doing for her. She's going to be blessed by having this this child who is to be the Messiah. I think of Mary, you know, she, the people believe, I don't know, she's 13, 14, whatever age she was. Even if you were 30 and an angel appeared to you in the middle right. of the night and said, you're going to conceive and not only are you going to conceive, that baby is going to be the Messiah who's going to save all people. Mm-hmm. I mean, imagine her trying to wrap her mind around that. I mean, I know I couldn't, but... It, you know, at least by reading this, it, it sounds like she's staying pretty calm and she's mm-hmm. she's believing um, yeah. what is happening, that she's believing what God is going to do for her. And and the first thing that we say, see that God does for us is that he will save us. Yeah. Right. And, and that's all part of uh, part of the second point. Right. That believe what God will do for you. So like JB said, he will save us. Um, and then the other part is his kingdom is going to come. There's no. There's no stopping his kingdom. As we look back into the into the verse, and and you know, the Lord will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. So not only is it is it going to come, but it's never going to end. Yeah, and I, I think that's a very important that we look at his ancestry with David. And some people will say, um, you know, in some of the lineages, uh, it says that David was a, a descendant of uh, not David, but Joseph was the descendant of David. Therefore. He really isn't a descendant of David, but also Mary was a descendant of David as well. And I think that's important to know. But um, but yeah, his kingdom will come. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Right. Which is a good thing. I think, you know, God's kingdom coming to this earth is good for us. And some of the theology I've studied is, you know, the kingdom is both here and yet to come. So at. 
as we experience the Holy Spirit, what we see is a taste of what the kingdom is, right? Mm -hmm. Through the Holy Spirit, we, we receive the gifts of the fruits of the Spirit, you know, joy, gentleness, love, uh, self-control. And that is a glimpse of what we're going to have in heaven, right? Yeah. We're, once we are in heaven, we're going to have that complete joy. But right now, His kingdom is still coming. It's, it's coming into this world, and one day it will be complete. Hmm. And so when we look at Mary through this, yeah, she's she's just newly engaged. She's a young woman, experienced an angel. Mm. All these things are being said about her. She she probably has a ton of questions. Yeah. Like tons of questions. You know, her mind is probably racing. So my question is, mm -hmm. what's in your glass now? Okay. Wow. So, I'm, I mean, I'm jumping ahead in the story quite a bit, um, but I'm going with the resurrection rye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, and the resurrection rise. So this is the one, uh, JB, that uh, you, uh, myself, your uh, lovely wife, and Ty picked out. Um, we did to uh, Jay Mattingly, and it's a we great did. experience. If you haven't done it, obviously you see here barrel one of two. Um, so now I'm barrel one of two, like you thought I was on the last, on the last one. So uh, yeah, this is one of our our uh, delicious palate profile picks. My alliteration well, skills. I had a cork malfunction. The uh, the talker came off the cork, so I got to pirate this one. There you go. Arr! Did you hear about the new pirate movie that's coming out? No, I did not. Go for it. It's R-rated. Uh, that is. I I, oh, oh, I didn't even say what I was drinking. You I was just you so, were so invested. excited for that joke. I was so excited about the pirate joke. I'm drinking Three Rivers Distillery Franklin B Rye whiskey. Franklin B Rye. It, clocking in at 95 mm -hmm. trees. Which was also a previous episode. Yeah. Where JB and I were, I believe, frolicking through fields. Allegedly. Of something. I don't remember what. I'm sure. Allegedly rye, frolicking allegedly. through fields. But mm -hmm. it's a good rye. It's nice, easy drinking. It's not, you know, this is one of those middle of the road, nice, easy drinking, good for a sit down and pour. All right. Excellent. It's so good to also sip while you read scripture. So I'm going to take a sip. I'm reading Luke 1, 35 through 38. Okay. And it says this in the NLT. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow mm -hmm. you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. What more? Your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son is now in her sixth month, for the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel sadly left her. The, I added the sadly. That was wasn't actual scripture. <laughs> it sadly left her. So your tone really filled that in for us, too. I know, too. He met, like, I wonder how the angel left. Did it, like, fly into the sky? Did it, like, cloud of smoke? Did it dissipate? Like, it never really says in Scripture. So anyways, the, the third point of this, uh, this sermon is believe what God can do in you. Hmm. So Mary is told what God is going to do inside of her. The Holy Spirit is going to come in and change her. He's going to... Uh, make her pregnant, and as evidence that he can, you know, change a virgin into an expectant mother, he tells her that God's spirit has done this also inside of her, her cousin Elizabeth, right? Mm -hmm. And so God wants to change us too. He wants yeah. us to change us from the inside out. God is wanting to transform us. Hmm. He puts his Holy Spirit in us so that he can guide us to make the best decisions yeah. that we can so that we can uh, grow in holiness. He makes us holy or at least holier by helping us to obey his will uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And ultimately we want to see other people change, right? We want to see yeah. other people, you know, experience the power of the Holy Spirit and change them from the inside out. Right. Yeah. So I can go ahead and um, go into Luke 1, 39 through 45. A few days later, Mary hurried to the hill country of Judea, to the town where Zechariah lived. She entered the house and greeted Elizabeth. At the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child leapt within her. 
and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth gave a glad cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women, and your child is blessed. Why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. Yeah, it's interesting when we we, uh, look at this. Like, Elizabeth wasn't told you know, before before Mary even arrived, right? Mary arrives in the presence of Christ, just in the womb. Yeah, you know, moved the the child in Elizabeth's womb so much that he he leapt in the womb. That's that's the power of Christ. To, you know, to to how he affects us, how he changes us. That he, even as you know, he's like Mary was just what days pregnant mm-hmm. and. It, he's causing, he's already causing change in the world. Yeah. And so, um, so Elizabeth then is filled with the Holy Spirit. And I want you guys to remember at this time in scripture, the Holy Spirit wasn't released upon all people, right? The Holy Spirit would come upon one person and another person or leave. And, and usually, you know, a lot of times there's prophecy involved. And so yeah. we see the Holy Spirit come upon Elizabeth and she announces the coming of Jesus. She says, you know, why, why am I honored enough to have the mother of my Lord yeah. in my presence? And and so I think it's important also that we see that this was a woman who was given that the Holy spirit when not everybody got it, she was given that gift to recognize that that was Jesus, her, the Messiah in the womb. So, and that's the effect. I think it's really cool that Jesus is just growing so small, so small, still in the womb, and he's yeah. still having that much of effect on the people around him. Yeah. And that, that brings us to point four, right? Because what happens when we believe these things is God blesses us, right? So Mary believed that God would do what he said he would. Um, mm-hmm. and then, then the Holy Spirit tells Elizabeth, Hey, this is, this is your Lord. This is the Messiah. And, and Mary believed me and she believed that, you know, what the Holy Spirit was telling her. Um, and, and God blesses us when we believe, you know, what the Holy Spirit calls us to do and, and tells us to do. Yeah. And when we, we see Elizabeth, you know, you mentioned Mary, you know, mm-hmm. being blessed because she's believing that the Messiah is, you know, she's going to give birth to the Messiah. But Elizabeth is also believing too, right? She, mm-hmm. she puts her belief in that that is Jesus, that right. that's, you know, God has spoken to her and she gets filled with the Holy Spirit. And at the time, what a blessing yeah. it was to receive the Holy Spirit and all because she believed in what God was doing also mm-hmm. in her because she knew that her child would lead way to Jesus, that he would proclaim the Messiah. Mm. And so having that baby leap in her, she recognized who was in her presence, and she was blessed by the power of the Holy Spirit to proclaim the good news about who who Jesus is. And I think that's what we need to look at as we go into the Advent season, to believe what God says about you. You are highly favored, and he is with you. Believe what God will do for you. Mm. He will save you. His kingdom will come. Believe what God can do in you. He will fill you with his Holy Spirit and change your heart. Yeah. Believe these things and know that you are blessed. Mm. Amen. Way to wrap that one up and summarize, JB. So Ooh, like a with, present. Like a present. And with that, we'll be right back <laughs> with what may also be like a present, our feature poor. Mayhaps. And we back. Thanks for hanging out with us through the cork pop. So we're back for our feature pour. JB, yeah, buddy. Are, you, are you excited? Should are I? Are you be? ready? I mean, should I be? I, I, I would think so. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Do you um, have our feature pour? I, let me consult my lawyer and see what he says. I mm-hmm. can say. Allegedly. My alleged lawyer. Mm-hmm. Did you notice my, my leather squirrel? Ah, I did I notice your leather squirrel. Cameras. I did notice your leather squirrel. Another throwback. <laughs> way way back <laughs> all right so we are going oh my gosh with so the cool. big rabowski rabowski Ra- that is the money labowski that's <laughs> i'm sure it's in there somewhere so this is the <laughs> jack daniels 
Single Barrel <laughs> Rye. This is a Fairview Liquors pick. Thank you, Don. Yeah, thank you, Don, for another fantastic pick. So this was bottled one twenty two twenty one. So you're not gonna. You, this is this no, is it's way, gone. This is way gone. I don't know how I've I've kept it through discipline. There That's might be I've some bottles, it. but it's not gonna. You're not gonna find it. No, it's in somebody's house. Exactly. So this was. And we do not promote burglaring. No. on this podcast. One of the few things that we do not promote is burglaring. So this was Whiskey Weekend batch. We do promote burglaring. Like three, burgers. one hundred percent. Whiskey Weekend batch, like multiple three. burgers, like flights. So of burgers. this one is a ninety-four proof. ABV is forty-seven percent so there's not officially age statements on this but i'm seeing mm. four years is kind of the expectation mash bill is 70 percent rye 18 percent corn 12 percent malted barley msrp for current again this was a couple of years ago so current regular single barrel rye north carolina is 57.95 i think jb and i we paid probably 40 to 50 for this one is it really a fit over 50 for single barrel i just saw it here in oiho for like 47 really because it's 50 North Carolina is just jipping you, bro. Is it? I know we Taking paid you around. For a ride. I know we Taking paid you for a for ride. Ride. So we paid about 40 for this. Um, same yeah. thing with that with that bullet that we had that we reviewed a little bit ago, too, from that same weekend. So And allegedly we're on a podcast that's not ours talking about allegedly. said film. When your whiskey has a necklace, that's yeah. when... Yo, that's whiskey got good. that drip, yo. See, that's another thing. That is the thing say. the kids say. That, that's that ice. True. You got the Riz? All right, we got it. Riz so Master. I'm going to pour this out. So, JB. Yeah, buddy. You you only have a little bit of this because, fun fact, um, JB can't find his bottle. So I cannot. He has no idea what happened. I have no it. clue. Maybe it's, it's either, some, maybe some of that burglaring that you talked about earlier. That Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Either that, it was an elaborate ruse just to get you to send me. Uh, Likely, is it extra? I see it right behind you. I think. <laughs> well, let's um, let's no, go. I, I literally cannot find that bottle. Yeah. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think there was some pilfering going on. Some pilfering. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what are you getting on the nose? Yeah, give me a second. I'm yeah a little under the weather so, today. So for me, it's a it, it's a gentle rye nose. It's not. There's, it's not super strong. I'm getting that mint for sure. I get some some um, stone fruit, uh, like some cherry. Um, I'm also getting uh, a little bit of banana. I usually get banana on like the single barrel Jack Daniels at Barrel Proof. Yeah. I'm not getting the banana, but again, You're some of us are getting over a cold. Mm. And oh, some of no, us- no. I see what you say with, the, with that banana. It's that yeasty. Mm-hmm. It's like a yeasty sweetness on on the nose. I think we should go into the uh, to the palate. That that's I think that's a grand idea. Mm. So more of the rice spice comes out. It's more spicy on the palate than you get on the nose. Yeah, completely. Um, it's got a nice buttery mouth feel. Like you said, the banana bread with mm-hmm. with butter on it. Mm. Oh, man, it, take a drink and then go back in on it in the nose. And mm-hmm. obviously, since the it's, it's more prominent. It's yeah, your, it's so much more. It's in your system. So it's not, I mean, it's not incredibly complex on the on the nose or the palate, but it's it's nice, right? It, That's a good drink. It is. That's like you're you're at a Christmas party, yeah, but a, a, a chill yeah, Christmas exactly. party That's when we're playing say. like jazz Christmas music mm-hmm. and there's only like eight to ten people there and mm-hmm. lights are a little low. You got the, the sure. glow of the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. You got some cookies. Mm-hmm. I like cookies yeah. and some gingerbread. You like you yeah. have the 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 aroma of gingerbread and you know spices in the air. Yeah, and you're just in the like the biggest comfiest chair that yeah. is at the the house. Mm-hmm. And you have this, and you're just sipping on it. And then just to just to call out because um, you're the things that you're mentioning are making me want. Uh, chocolate to shout out whiskey mutant um yeah. he did um a couple of years ago right pair this with that cocoa pebbles bar oh that's right um also anything of a fudgy cake would also go mm. incredibly oh, some well fudge this. like some homemade fudge yeah, would be really nice with this i hope my mom makes some fudge this year well she is listening or so she has started listening i don't think she's caught up that's true she's got time though this this doesn't go for another but it's i also did say i would help her with all of her christmas candies this year so mm-hmm. i can so you can it, i can make influence like mm-hmm. all right you're gonna make the fudge you're gonna make the chocolate covered chairs actually my favorite that she makes caramels mm-hmm. and chocolate covered caramels i oh. cannot wait every year yeah 
That that's sound delightful. That's the first thing. I, my wife loves the chocolate covered cherries. Mm-hmm. That's the I don't blame like, her. That's her her big one. Mm-hmm. But my mom's Christmas sugar cookies. Oh man, love them. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking for before this bottle goes to die. I will definitely be looking for some fudgy cakes to go along mm. with these because. Yeah, that it would lend so well with that. I'm going to save this half of the uh-huh. sample bottle for when I get my Christmas candies for my idea. mommy this year. And that is a wonderful idea. So what are you getting, just because I know I don't want you to, to finish that and not have all of your all of your notes, what are you getting on the finish? Oh, let me uh, let me go back in. The finish is not long. It's not. It, it's, it's not. It's not long. The finish is not complex. That butteriness keeps going. Mm-hmm. Like the spice, not so much on the back end, but the sweetness, that sweet banana bread flavor mm-hmm. it is more on, on the, the finish. It is. And I pick up, the, it's the first time I start to pick up some oak too is on the finish. Not not in the nose, not in the palate, but but the finish. I start to get some. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad oh. at all. And I think all all throughout this pour, right, is it's just a nice, it's the nice steady pour. It's not offensive. It's not overpowering. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's yeah. you know, it's not flavor bombs. Um, but because of that, right, it's it's very approachable. Um, it's a really nice it's dry. It's consistent. It's consistent. Yeah, it's... It's yeah. very consistent. The experience is very consistent throughout the pour, yeah. which I think so, is important. It is. So do you think that the, do you think the finish abides or what do you think? The finish definitely abides. Yeah. (laughs) You know, it's not a long finish, but it's a long enough finish. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. That nose as you like. When you go back to it. It's just, uh, it it is so banana bread. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Mm -hmm. That is a win, win, win. Mm -hmm. As Michael Scott would say, win, win. He's very wise. So again, season's greetings uh-huh. from JB's. I had to bring it back you one did. more time from JB's Bible and Bourbon Talk. Again, we are in the Advent season. Yeah, we're excited to bring you more episodes uh, towards the end of the year, and we're very excited about going into the new year. So you know, maybe you know, maybe just keep listening, support yeah. us. I don't know, but the the Christmas season, you know, with all of the the busyness of it, with all the stress, with all the purchases, with all the dinners, with all of, you know, the parties, everything, all of that, the true meaning behind this is Jesus Christ, right? Mm-hmm. And Jesus actually did not live a busy, stressed out, you know, extravagant right. life. He lived a life in grace and he wants to invite you into that. He wants to, as he says in scripture, to show you the unforced rhythms mm-hmm. of grace. So in this Advent season, take, take a step back from all of the busyness, all of the craziness, all of that. And, and look to Jesus. Look to him this season for peace. Look to him for joy. Look to him for all of those things that you are lacking. Yeah. And put your faith in him. And if you don't know uh, what that means, what it means to have a faith in Jesus, what it means to have a relationship with him, we want you to know that because we want you to experience what we have experienced in a relationship with Jesus. We want you to have that joy and that peace and that strength and that calm, even during times of stress. So if you don't know what that means, reach out to us. I would love to talk to you. Rob would love to talk to you. So if they want to reach out to us, Rob, how can they do that? Absolutely, JB. So you can go to jbbibleandbourbon.com slash social. That's going to have both of our email addresses, how to connect with us on Facebook, um, our TikToks, all of those things. Uh, If you want to connect with the the channel, with the podcast, with the show, whatever you want to call it, all the information is going to be there for our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, how you can subscribe to us um, on all of the podcatchers if you're only looking for the audio when you're ready for glorious video um youtube and rumble those channels are also available and on that page please like comment subscribe anywhere and everywhere that you listen and watch um what we're doing here it definitely helps the algorithms it tricks people into finding us I mean, we're all on board with that, right? Um, yep. and then, and then also jbbibleandbourbon.com slash social is going to have how you can join us on Patreon again with our Patreon tier since it is you know, Advent season, we are going into the season of giving. We do have uh, the, our year end swag gifts that we do give to our Patreons. Um, you do have to be a member for a little bit, right? So year end swag gifts for our Patreons at our Apostle and Disciple tier. You also get monthly time with JB and I once or twice a month. Yeah. JB Bible and bourbon.com slash social. I got to tell you, our uh, Patreon end of year swag gifts this year, I'm pretty excited about mm-hmm. them. And 
Me too. It's just like another Christmas present, you know? Exactly. You around December, it's like opening up a beautiful, joyful present mm -hmm. from you know, right, right from Rob and I's heart. That's right. Yeah. So sign up. Mm -hmm. Follow along, man. This is a great ride. And so, um, again, season's greetings from JB Bible and Bourbon. Mm. And so until the next time, may the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. We'll see y'all next time.